Hi everyone, it's Galen again. Today I have an autumn card for you and I am mixing watercolor with a little bit of colored pencil shading. I'm using the Unity Stamp Company kit called Faith Sees Beauty. It's the August 2018 kit of the month. And I'm using the Mini Misty to stamp, uh, to stamp on. I'm using a retired My, Cre uh, My Favorite Things die and foam tape. And I have archival ink in um, sepia color. I have Sakura Koi watercolors. Uh, sequins and twine and a flat watercolor brush. I'm using Prismacolor colored pencils. Now I start with watercolor paper on the smooth side of the watercolor paper. I'm going to add purple tape and Unity carries uh, purple tape. I'm going to add um, watercolor to the inside part of this frame, a tape frame. It's going to leave a rough white border. It's not going to be perfect because watercolor is not perfect. And uh, this purple tape is not waterproof either. So um, you're going to get a little bit of seepage, but with watercolor, it works just fine. It, it, looks, it looks just fine. You'll see at the end. I'm adding a little light yellow and I go, I, I like to tap tap the watercolor on first and then I use some water to blend it out still tapping and then I add um, a rust color and now I'm coming in with a lighter orange and um, tapping and adding that and letting it blend where the colors meet if you have blots you can use a paper towel to blot any of the excess water and then uh, Removing the purple tape, um, you'll see that there it's not perfect with the edges, but that's fine. I just wanted a rough white, uh, white area on the edges just to have a look of a frame, but not being perfect. I heat set it on both sides of the watercolor paper, and uh, I'm going to be using the Misty to stamp with. Um, I like, again, to stamp on the smooth side of the watercolor paper. I use two passes with the ink, with uh, Ranger Archival ink. It works well with watercolor projects. Um, now onto the acorns, I'm adding light watercolor, very light. And I'm gonna come in later with pencils and do more shading. But I, I come in with more of um, the rust color and then uh, on the acorns, I'll add um, brown, a, a very diluted brown. And uh, you can almost see the background uh, and that's fine. So I heat set that as well on the front and the back. Then I'm gonna use three colors of color pencils. I'm gonna start with the darkest shade and I'm gonna lightly very lightly, choose a side for shadows and shading. And I go in with a darker color and then I come back and I add more of a, that rust look in the color pencil. And I hold it, I hold a very sharp pencil sideways to get lightly, light blending. Now, if I didn't have watercolor paper and if I had regular cardstock, this would blend a little better with the pencils, but because it's watercolor paper, you ha paper it is uh, has a texture to it, and the pencils don't blend as easily. So I'm using Gamsol fluid, along with a uh, number two blending stump, and I use a very little Gamsol fluid, and I gently blend out that shading that I added with the pencils. I do it with the top and the bottom parts of the acorn. And there you have it. I'm making a side fold card. I used foam tape. 
I hope you like this. Thanks for watching. Take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.